Hey guys, so back for another hot shot video. Uh, before I forget, go ahead and subscribe. We're getting a few viewers, and uh, we've gained a few subscribers since we started doing the hot shot video. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell for all of the notifications on the new video. That'd be awesome. So that's what keeps me going. So getting a lot of people watching. If nobody watched, I wouldn't do them. So anyway, I think it's cool that you guys watch and, and want to learn like I did. I'm still learning. I watch a lot of YouTube videos. So first of all, we are fixing to swap these Dexter put plastic oil hub covers over their oil bath um, systems. And I've heard a lot of bad reviews about them. So we're going to swap out the plastic ones for these Valcrum uh, aluminum covers and I showed y'all these in another video but just in case you missed that video these are aluminum they got the uh, the fill plug so you don't have to take the whole thing off if you're having issues or you don't have to take this center cap out all you have to do is take this out to fill if you want to drain you use the same one just turn it down drain the good thing about the center what makes these even better other than their aluminum is they got a magnet on the center plug to attract any metal shavings that you may get in your axle it'll attract them to the magnet and keep them out of your gears so that's a good thing so what we're going to do and this is tricky because they you're only supposed to put these on like 30 foot pounds 40 foot pounds so how i learned to do this was watching a video that I'll tag in the description, Load Miser. He changed his out, and it's easy. I've done changed one. i done it just to make sure everything went like he said it would in the video, and it did. Um, he said that when you start, that Dexter or whoever builds the trailers put these on way too tight. And uh, so... Even with the wrench, and this is a great wrench to get if you're going to do this project. You might as well go ahead and order you one of these. Uh, I think we got this off eBay or Amazon or somebody. But anyway, you can find them. Make sure you get the right one for your trailer. Also, do that on your uh, when you order to the hubs. Make sure you know what hubs you got. I think mine's 2136, and they make all different kinds. So just make sure you get the right hub. And you'll know, you can look at your hub and tell, or if you'll know what size axles. And I think Valcrum or the people that sell these list them by ratings of your axles. So you might not even have to know that number, but I know mine's 2136. So that was one of the things on the description. So I use Lucas Hub Oil. That's strongly recommended as well. Uh, and a little secret, and you'll see why it's such a great secret get you a solo cup when you go to take these apart and this fits right under there and you can walk away from it you don't have to hold it so we're going to get started it is aggravating to get these off because they put them on way too tight that's according to load miser i'm not a mechanic but you have to take a hammer and a wrench to get them off so this may be take a little bit but the wrench had to be the right size. You can see why. It's just like any other socket or anything. So these things are on super tight. You'll have to hit this thing until you can get it loose. And it takes a little bit. Uh, I watched Load Miser do it. And uh, it... Uh, it shocked me how much effort he had to put into it to get them off. And you can't get a hammer in here good either. This is starting to break loose, so this shouldn't take much longer. Don't have to worry about oil running out immediately because you have to have this screwed way out before oil will start coming out. Once you get it so you can move it with your hand. All right. Then you want to get your cap and get it ready. There's not much in it. That's what come out of that one. 
so it's not like it's a whole lot but you want it to be fairly easy so you get this so you can turn it by hand take your wrench off get your cup up here you have to have it nearly all the way out before oil will start coming out and that is a good thing that way if these ever get loose you know it had to be way out there before you're going to start slinging oil see i had to have it nearly off before any oil come out shake off this oil and just set that aside save those I actually i'm going to save all four of mine clean them up and put them in the truck you never know, something might happen to yours. Not likely, but where you may use these, you may be out on the road doing a load and at a truck stop and somebody that didn't change theirs out may have problems. But Tammy's filming and trying to answer the phone at the same time. Sorry about that. But uh, anyway, so uh, today's her birthday. And she's out here filming videos with me. I carried her out for lunch though, so. But anyway, so she got a little distracted, so she <laughs> moved away for a second. But this is amateur anyway, so y'all don't expect it to be pros, right? So, but anyway, you see how cool this is? Solo cup fits right under there. You don't have to sit here with it. You can actually take probably all of them off, especially if you ain't got no dust to worry about. You can probably take all of them off and let them drain. But this will take a, a little bit to drain. And when that drains, it's just a piece of cake. You want to make sure, see, like, wipe all this out. Anything that's in it, that was just like specs and where they manufactured it. But just make sure there's nothing in it. Make sure your ring's on it. Make sure your ring is on this one, too, when you take it off. If not... It'll be like an oil filter. You'll leak on you. So you just have to make sure you get all that done. Uh, I'm going to let this run just a second. I've got me an oil rag here to catch. It don't have to be completely out. Load miser said they recommend changing this hole up. I mean, uh, hub oil. <laughs> Load miser said they recommend changing this every 10,000 miles. Uh, I talked to my guy, my mechanic guy, and he said that he wouldn't change it every 10,000, but I don't know. So, but that's just what Load Miser recommended. And um, uh, like I said, I talked to the mechanic. He said he would run it longer than that. But, um, but anyway, you do what you want to do. This is what I do. I don't know how often I'll change it. I'm going to talk to some more people. But, um, but anyway, so what I done was, when it got real slow dripping like this right here, I started wiping it down, trying to brush it and get it on out. And then I folded my rag up when it's just dripping. Yeah, it's doing a little bit more than drip. And then I just laid my rag down in there. And then, this trailer ain't got but about 2,000 miles on it. So the oil that's in it is not bad. So you don't have to worry about getting it on mine. On this one, you don't have to worry about getting it all out. So, because uh, it's not nowhere near time to change it. So what you do, you tighten it as tight as you can with your hand. 30 to 40 pounds. If you want to put a torque wrench on it, it tells plenty on them. Load miser said put it on as tight as you can with your hand. Put the wrench on it. Turn it. Snug it up pretty good. And he said, if you can't back it off with your hand, that's tight enough. 
So I'll have to uh, ease this back just a little bit to fill it up, but it don't take a lot of oil to go in it. A lot of people jack them up, spin them, but you can just roll it back just a little bit and get this up on top and fill it. I can actually take this out and probably put enough in it. So anyway, all it likes is taking the, uh, it takes the number five Allen wrench, you take that plug out, fill it up, and I'm just gonna ease it back just a little bit and uh, fill that up. I'm gonna fill it up like Load Miter did, just right under the plug, this plug right here, and that'll be full. That's all there is to it. Uh, like I said, I'll tag Load Miser's video in it. He's more of a professional than I am. And uh, y'all can watch his. And uh, if you want to change yours out, change yours out. But this is 12,000 pound axles. And this is the hub that that I had to get. It's a ST400. I think that means it's a four inch. So, but there, you can find them on eBay, Amazon wherever you like to buy but anyway that's all there is to it i'm gonna change the other two and i'm gonna be done so y'all tell tammy happy birthday it'll be a day late because this video will come out tomorrow but uh y'all tell her a day late happy birthday love you guys don't forget to subscribe keep your eye out for more hot shot videos see ya